And welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on this podcast and on all the the other videos on this playlist, uh, we're going to start talking about investing. But I just want to say one thing before I before I get into that. This this video is not is not designed to give investment advice. Its purpose is educational only. This videos and other videos in this playlist are designed to teach about different theories of investing. If you want investment advice, then uh, please see a professional. All right, so let's, uh, let's start talking about investing. And to talk about investing, uh, so this is gonna be our, our unit on talking about the stock market, this, this playlist. And to begin talking about investing, I want to talk about uh, some basic concepts before we get into some of the details of, you know, how to choose different stocks, uh, what type of uh, investment theory to follow, how much stocks and bonds should you own, when to buy, when to sell, all, all, all those kind of different theories. Uh, that's, that's not where I want to start. Where I want to start are the, are the basic big concepts. And that is going to be uh, what I'm going to call a three-step uh, thought process, Three three-step process. Uh, that that one could follow as a long-term investor who is focusing on uh, retiring someday. The first step of this process is to save. Because here's the thing. If you don't start here at the save, if you don't do that first, then you will not have money to invest. If you're going to spend your money on big houses, if you're going to spend your money on you know, new technologies, if you're going to spend your money on nice cars. I mean, those are all nice things and all. Uh, but if you're going to spend money on those things, then you will not have money to save and invest. So here's the thing. The first thing you have to do uh, when you want to become a long-term investor, and th this is hard, is you have to decrease spending. You have to decrease spending because you're going to have to live below your means. You're going to have to live below your means and you're going to have to save money, which means you have to spend less. Because if you spend all your money on these nice things, if you spend all your money on these nice things, uh, then you will not have uh, money to invest. So that's step number one. Step number two is to learn to invest. So that's important as well. We have to learn the the different theories of investing. Uh, what 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 stocks do we buy? Uh, how how do we how do we uh, use graphs and and numbers and all this kind of stuff to different to to analyze uh, different stocks, different companies, groups of companies, indexes. Uh, how how do we know how to invest? Uh, that's step number two. That's really important. And then finally, step number three, which is also important, is someday you got to spend that money. Okay, someday you got to spend that money. And what are you going to spend that money on? Well, I, I, I'm not going to tell you what to spend your money on. Uh, maybe you want to go on nice vacations. Uh, maybe you just want to be able to retire and, you know, and, and get off the, get out of the rat race. Uh, maybe you want to uh, give to other people. Uh, maybe you want to be charitable with that money someday. I, I can't tell you how you should spend that money. Uh, but what I'm saying is this, is... You, you save at the beginning, become a, an investor, and then someday uh, you retire and begin spending uh, that money. Now, when do you begin spending that money? Well, one idea would be you begin spending that money when you have accumulated enough that you can live off the interest and dividends from your portfolio without going to work. Let me just say that one more time. That's super important. Uh, you have a large enough portfolio that you can live off the interest and the dividends without going to work. Okay. If you can do that, you have then purchased control over your life. You decide what to do with your time. So big ideas. Uh, you have to start by saving. Uh, you have to become an investor, learn about investing. And uh, finally, at the end, when you've accumulated enough, then you become a spender. Then you begin uh, spending that money uh, in your retirement. All right, this has been uh, Mr. Hagen with our first video on investing. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next podcast.